Hey, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And The View has nonstop Trump hysteria going on right now over on that show. Uh, from start to finish, these ladies are absolutely insane. They're, they've been driven insane by Donald Trump winning the election. And they really come out of the closet stating what they really wanted to happen. They wanted Trump to lose, obviously, right? They're not, uh, they're, the, the non-biased uh, glasses come off for a few minutes on this show. Uh, as they say, we wanted Trump to lose. We did everything we could to make Trump lose, right? And and Joe, Joe, Joy Behar just having this uh, incredible meltdown live on television, on air, in front of a live studio audience for all those women who I guess have nothing else better to do than go watch these screeching ladies live. I don't know. I don't know if uh, anybody could pay me enough to go sit and watch them live, let alone watch these clips. Anyway, uh, there she is, though. Having a meltdown. We'll be trying to calm her down. No, she's having a meltdown. She's having a meltdown because Trump won. Uh, two weeks after his uh, his victory, they're still melting down. And this, I feel this is, may be an ongoing trend for the next uh, four years if the view stays on the air that much longer. Who knows? Because their ratings continue to drop because all they can do is rage about Trump winning. And not only that, they're now having to put disclaimers on their their show after they state obvious lies stating, uh, yeah, if you don't read this disclaimer, we're about to get sued into oblivion. Just like with the Matt Gates thing. Sonny Hostin earlier uh, sat there and uh, lied about Matt Gates, And then she promptly, a couple of minutes later, Whoopi Goldberg says, hey, you have a legal disclaimer you need to read now. And she had to read this legal disclaimer stating everything she said was false. Um, this is the view right now. Absolutely, just an absolute clown show. Let's go ahead and take a look at this clip real quick. Uh, Joy Behart there in the middle having an absolute meltdown over Trump winning. Trumpianism, as she calls it. You know what's in the air, Whoopi? What's Trumpism. We lost the election. Wait a minute. We lost the election. We're miserable. Half of this country is miserable. And let's just tell the truth. We hate that he won. We hate it. <laughs> and everybody's up tight and crazy right now. Well, then I'm going to... <laughs> we hate that he won. We hate it. We hate Trump. We hate Trump. We hate Trump and everything he stands for. Donald Trump is is still evil. Donald Trump is still Hitler. That's basically the route that she wanted to go. But then she would probably have to write, uh, read an on-air uh, correction as well, just like Sonny Hostin had to do earlier in that show. Uh, these people are clinically insane, clinically insane. Uh, and anyone who watches these people might be diagnosed as clinically insane too. We've gone past... Trump derangement syndrome, stage five. We are in uncharted territory with these people. Uh, many of these people are broken. Trump has broken most of these uh, daytime hosts. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my social media, all linked in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Have a great, great day.